In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a data extension and import your data into it. We are going under Subscribers Data Extensions. You can create subfolders, but we are going to create our data extension in the main folder here. Click the Create button. We are going to set up a standard data extension. Let's pretend like we are running a little store somewhere by the ocean called Ocean Loft. And we have a list of our customer emails that we are planning on uploading to this data extension. We are going to name it Ocean Loft Customers. We are going to give it the same external key. You can also leave it blank, but the system will automatically generate it. And you can also add a description if you would like to clarify what type of data in the data extension you are creating. We indicate that our data extension is sendable. That will let Marketing Cloud know that we are planning to send emails to the subscribers that we will import here. We are not going to assign any campaigns here, so just click Next. You can set up a retention policy for your data extension if you want records to be removed on a certain schedule. In our case, we want to keep adding subscribers while keeping the old ones, so we leave it as it is. Click Next. Now we need to add fields to our data extension. The fields contain information that you collected from your subscribers, like name, email address or other parameters that you assign them upon registration on your site, like customer ID or subscriber key or some other unique field that lets you identify your customers. If you are going to use Journey Builder, make sure to name your email address field as one word and your unique identifier as subscriber key, also one word. All these fields should be in the file that you are going to import to Marketing Cloud. It is important to set up correct data types for your fields. You can only have one field type as email address in the sendable data extension. If you have multiple fields with email addresses, for example, customer email address and account rep email address, set the one you are using to send emails as email address type and the other one as a text field. Add appropriate lengths to your fields. You can always increase the length later, but you cannot make it shorter. In this data extension, your primary key is your subscriber key. Mark fields that are not required and can be left blank as nullable. For example, if a customer not required to provide name or interests. You can also assign a default value to your fields, such as valid customer for the name field. It will populate for customers who didn't provide their names. Finally, you need to specify send relationship. It tells Marketing Cloud how to connect your subscribers to the all subscriber list. In most cases, it would be either on subscriber key or email address, if you don't use subscriber key. Ok, now that our data extension is created, let's see how to add your subscriber data to it. Click on the data extension, then the records tab, import. You can import a file from your computer or from your Marketing Cloud FTP server. In our example, we will import it from my computer. Our file is not compressed and not encrypted, leaving this unchecked. It is a CSV Excel file, so the delimiter is a comma. Select your date format, import type, import options. I recommend checking both boxes here. There are three options to map your fields. In our case, the column headers in the uploaded Excel file match the fields we created, but you can also map them by order or by matching the fields manually. Before you start the import, you can also update the import notification email address on the left. By default, it's your login email address. <music> to 
the record should populate in a couple minutes, depending how big is the file you are uploading. You can always add more fields to your data extension after you uploaded the file. Note that all additional fields have to be marked as nullable. You can then import a file that has the missing field to populate the field with data.